What's up flexors? Today I'm going to show you my newest DIY project. I wanted to build additional storage for my desk. Why not just build an IKEA hack to put it on another level? Why not include a secret stash? I have this leftover IKEA board. I think it's called Luck Shelf or something. It's a perfect match for my desk construction. Let me show you what I mean. The idea is to create two triangular frames that hold a board screwed against my desk. A long piece of timber will function as a backboard to hide the secret stash. Now you have a perfect spot to hide your secret things. Let's be honest, every one of us has secrets. Alright, back at my tiny little workshop. This has already been cut from the back side and I just have to take these little paper strips out. Alright, that's good. You can see the gap. I'm excited. So this is the board and the triangle is gonna get a little recess here, so it's like a cantilever. just cut this down to the right size so I can uh, fix it onto my little triangles they will nicely join into there As you can see, this will perfectly join together and work as a great frame for my stash board. So let's clean these parts up with the router and some sandpaper. After that, uh, they're ready for paint and assembly. Hey Mia Moore. Hi. You think this project is going to be successful? Yeah. In order to know where my backboard is going, I'm gonna mark one and a half inches, which is about four centimeters. Now that I know where my backboard is going to sit, I can perfectly mark this triangle to drill a little hole for a screw. I'm gonna drill a hole here so I can glue these little cylinders in. I'm gonna have a hole on the other side in the backboard where these doubles can go in. It's important that the cylinder doesn't go too far, so it doesn't go through the backboard, uh, so nobody sees the mechanism. A little bit more wriggle room is always good in this application here. 
Alright, that should do. I just saw that there is not enough room for my little wood cylinder at this end. The support here is very short. This side is much bigger. So I have to take out more of this paper. <laughs> Screw a little guide inside where I can fix my wooden cylinder from the bottom. I will use these beautiful stainless steel cap screws and uh, therefore I'm gonna mark the holes and pre-drill the whole thing so it's gonna be very easy later to just fix them into the table. Finally, I can drill the holes for my cylinders. They will sit way up in front and the board will go into it. dry for a bit so the wood filler is uh, ready for a last sanding tomorrow morning tomorrow I can finish it off uh, with some nice uh, light paint what a beautiful morning on this Easter weekend time to finish this project I'm using a poly Polyurethane coating will be more flexible and there will no paint chips or any damages to the coating at the end. Alright, this first paint job is done. I will give it two more so it's gonna be smooth at the end. Let this dry and... We will go from there. A few moments later. I need one last coat for this and then it's gonna be ready to assemble at my table. <laughs> Boys and girls, I just finished the frame. Now it's going to the office. As you can see, it's all done, nice and finished. I'm gonna give this 15 inches above the shelf so there's enough space for me to store like heavy things. Okay. By the way, donate me for my measuring stick. Is there a universal in Germany? <laughs> Everybody has like 10 of them at his house. Let's jam this in here. Nice and easy. Let's pin the holes for the screws. take off the measurements for pins here so I can drill them into my shelf last bit to do and I'm done there you go all right solid as a rock all right 
project done.